Yeah, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 8 on CRUD management system. So guys, till now I have explained you everything related to PHP and all you require in order to work with this particular CRUD application. Now the only thing that's missing is, you know, if we can add, you know, some sorting to these table or if we can, you know, add some pagination and a search box. So whether we can go ahead, we can write logics for each and every single thing one by one or we can go to Google and we can search for a term called data tables. So here I'm going to search for it. Uh, it's going to give me the very first link called data tables.net. I'm going to open it. And guys, this is actually a jQuery plugin. They're going to let you do a lot of things under one roof. So, you know, here you can have some inbuilt search for your tables where you can search values. You can have, you know, uh, pagination numbers like how many results you want to show per page. Uh, out here on the bottom, you can have pagination and a lot of other things that you can do. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead, ahead and we're going to click on the link called download here. And whether you can download everything, including your themes and other stuff, but I actually I don't need all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find the very latest version of your, you know, JS file. So here I'm gonna click on it. From here I'm gonna copy everything inside my jQuery folder. I'm gonna create a new file, and here I'm gonna say data tables. Js. Okay. And here I'm gonna paste everything. That's all you need from this particular file. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna open the file called index.php. <coughs> and inside this file, uh, I'm gonna you know create a couple of script tags. So the very first one would be the reference to jQuery. And if you have uh, you know downloaded the source files from my website, then you will find you know a file called jQuery.js that is actually a reference to jQuery. And if not, you can actually go ahead and you can download it from Google. Uh, next thing what I'm going to do is here I'm going to say you know a reference to data tables file so probably I'm going to copy the name from here like this and here guys we're going to you know write a couple of lines in order to set up our you know functionality to add pagination and other sorting stuff to our table so very first I'm going to say dollar function to make sure that the DOM is right before we go ahead and do anything next thing is guys go back to the <coughs> data tables.net site come to the very you know basic page and from here you know I'm gonna copy it and here I'm gonna paste it out now guys uh, here we need to you know pass in the ID or the class of our table so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna say table class table dot data table okay that's all you require come back refresh you will notice now we have a search we have you know uh, option to change the pagination entries per page here from here you know we can go to next or the previous page so next thing what we're gonna do is you know I'm open I'm gonna open a couple of curly braces out here uh, go back to their site uh, go to the tab called examples and if you will come out here to the bottom you will find a link called DOM positioning so I'm gonna click on it and here I'm gonna grab their example from here okay come back and okay copy it first then paste it and refresh you will notice you know like it's, it's looking a bit ugly but that's fine what we're gonna do right now is uh, very first we're gonna you know keep our search on the top that would be the filter so F stands for filter we're gonna keep it on top here and you know then we're gonna you know uh, put our pagination that would be P and the very last one would be the length like how many entries you want to show come back refresh okay everything looks fine or probably you know put a length out here and pagination why well, it's not doing it okay now it's fine so here it will show you know some previous and next buttons here from here we can change our entries and here would be the source now you know we're gonna just change a couple of uh, actually we're gonna write one line of code in order to put this search you know box out here on the bottom so go back to CSS I'm gonna open the file called CSS style.css and I'm gonna grab the class name for this you know search input box that would be database filter I'm gonna copy it here and I'm gonna say clear both okay come back refresh you will notice it is out here so let me switch to a different table where we have you know some a uh, lot of entries so categories would be fine so here we have two I can search for PHP only and you will notice guys it's showing me you know the only PHP one 
and as there are only two so changing these things from here will not make any sense but you can test it from your side you can enter a lot of data or you can you know use it on your real website or blog you're gonna see you know this particular uh, plugin is quite handy so I'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye